setup of the DG1000 for a depressurization test. We'll start by turning it on. There's a power button on top of it. This takes a minute. When it does boot up, it's gonna come on on pressure on the A channel and pressure on the B channel. If it does that, we need pressure on the A channel is correct, but we need flow at 50 on the B channel. So we'll press pressure and we'll select flow at 50 for the B channel. Now both channels are set up correctly for a blower door test. We've got pressure on the A channel and flow at 50 on the B channel. The next thing we're gonna talk about is hose setup. We want our green hose connected to the reference port on the A channel. That'll run through the panel outside of the home. We want the end of that plenty far away from where the fan is exhausting out of the house so we're not blowing up the end of that hose. On the B channel, we're gonna connect the red hose to the input port and that'll run down and connect to the fan port. Now we've got our hoses set up correctly. Let's set the baseline. We do that by clicking baseline. This will adjust the pressure differences between the inside and the outside. It needs to run for about 30 seconds. When it does, hit enter, and now it's ready to go. The next thing we need to do is make sure our fan is configured for our manometer. Our manometer says open, so we need to take all the rings off the fan and make sure the fan is open. After we do that, we are ready to ramp it up to negative 50 Pascal on the A channel and get our CFM 50 number on the B channel. If you are getting a low reading on your B channel when you get up around 50, that means you need to reconfigure your fan to match the size of the house. You need a smaller fan basically. We'll do that by adding rings to it. So we'll click that A ring and then we'll add it to the fan. Your fan and your manometer are now reconfigured for the correct size of the house. And so we can ramp the manometer back up to negative 50 Pascal and get a new reading. If it starts flashing low at the beginning, don't worry about that until it gets closer to 50. There you can see we got to around 33 and it finally started reading. And around negative 50, we get our CFM 50 number. Don't worry too much if you're a little below 50 or a little above. The manometer is doing calculations in the background to make sure it's the correct reading. You can also click the time average if you're getting a lot of uh, variance in your number and click a five second average and that'll just kind of even it out for you. If you're using cruise control, you want to connect the jumper cable from your fan module to the top of your manometer and then you can just click that play button. It'll slowly ramp the fan up to negative 50 and kind of does the work for you. All right, so we've got our CFM at negative 50 number, and that is the basic setup for the DG1000.